fellow Harley-Davidson owners. Today I'd like to talk to you about cleaning and maintaining your polished aluminum wheels. The aluminum here and here on the cast aluminum wheels is polished. It's bare metal, it will tarnish. If brake dust gets on it, it can pit. Brake dust is corrosive. So what you would want to do is use some wheel cleaner on it. Preferably the Harley-Davidson wheel cleaner, this one here. about uh, nine dollars a bottle if you get it at, at the Harley-Davidson dealer. Whatever you do, do not use an automotive wheel cleaner. I made that mistake a couple years ago. I sprayed it on the wheel. I, first I had read the label very carefully. It said it was good for any type of wheel, whether it was aluminum or chrome or uh, you know, the mag wheels, it wasn't safe to use on the aluminum and the aluminum immediately tarnished and turned black. Fortunately, I had the hose right there and I rinsed it. I did one wheel and sprayed it in one spot and rinsed it off right away. Then I wasn't able to polish the wheel back to uh, the shiny luster that it had. So I got some uh, bare metal polish from Harley Davidson. Not sure if you can see that. Here's the top of the lid. It says bare metal polish and it, you can get it at the dealer. It's about $10 for this small uh, container, but this container will do many, many applications. You probably get years out of it rather than uh, counting it in applications because I only polish my wheels at most once a year to maintain the, the shine. Okay, let's uh, try polishing some of this wheel. Um, got the cleaner here. You apply it using, I'm using a piece of t-shirt material. You apply it and as you can see immediately, uh, the tarnish is coming off. You rub it, you're supposed to rub it in a circular motion according to the label directions on the package and what this is doing is uh, it's almost like Tarnex it's taking off the tarnish there is a little bit of abrasive abrasive uh, powder in here so you want to be careful to only put it on the aluminum you don't want to use it on chrome any plated part any uh, painted or plated part you want to stay away from that and only put it on the bare aluminum. All right, so I've applied quite a bit of it. I keep moving to a new part of the cloth for the t-shirt so that you can see the uh, black oxide is coming off the aluminum here. Then now here I got some on the painted part, which you're really not supposed to do, but I have found it doesn't really hurt anything if you're careful wiping it off. Always move to a clean spot before you start wiping. Because if there is any abrasiveness in this, you don't want to be scraping or scratching the paint. And as this comes off, as you're wiping and polishing, Now, at the end of this, if, if I'm not happy with the luster, I will go over it again and repeat the process again. Um, it's really coming out nice. Wish the sun would come out and we'd have better light today, but we'll take what we can get. It's, at least it's not raining and it's not real cold. So I'm going to go back here and apply just a little bit more of the polish. We're on our second application now in this area. And my objective is to remove, uh, I've cleaned the wheel with the Harley wheel cleaner and to remove any brake dust. And I do that 
depending on how much I ride, I, I probably do it every 500 miles or so. You know, when, if, it depends how often you wash your bike. Uh, I do not use the wheel spray every time I wash my bike. Um, but I do do it, I do hose off the wheels to try to get any get brake dust that may have fallen on them. As I look at this, I'm going to have to get another piece of t-shirt. But it's it's coming out, and if we're lucky, the sun will come out, and you'll get to see the shine here. Oh, the other thing the Harley wheel cleaner does, the spray, is uh, makes the tire nice and black without being slippery. So uh, it may be nine dollars a bottle or, or in that general area but you get uh, two things out of it you get the the clean wheel and you get the uh, shiny black tire all right please let me know if there's any questions you can always post questions down uh, at the bottom below the video thanks